Historic B&B that burned in the wine country wildfires is just beginning to rise from the ashes. The flames in October leveled the Mountain Home Ranch in Calistoga, but there is still damage to be cleared before the rebuilding can even begin. KPX 5's Katie Nielsen shows us some students are volunteering to do the work that insurance will not cover. The Army Corps of Engineers came in and cleared out all the burned buildings here at Mountain Home Ranch, but everything else? That's up to the owners, and unfortunately, their insurance doesn't cover it. Weed whacking, brush clearing, and tree trimming. That's what's on the syllabus today for this group of University of San Francisco students who came to help at the ranch as a community service project. They're going to get done today what would have taken the two of us and our son probably a week or two at least. I would say a month or two, but... Uh... <laughs> Probably so. The Mountain Home Ranch is a 340 acre Calistoga retreat that's been in John's family for 105 years. But it only took 20 minutes last October for a century of history to get erased from the hillside. We had fire trucks, we had everything laid out to fight it, but we just didn't have time. We barely got the guests out. John says it feels like a piece of his family history died. This is very, very hard for me to see the chimney here, the remains of the lodge, the down trees. Those trees planted by his grandfather 100 years ago. Once mighty pines, now burned stumps. To see them all come down knowing my grandfather planted them, it was just more than I could watch. An emotional burden, but also a financial one. The insurance policy will cover the buildings, but not the cost of cutting down all the scorched dead trees and clearing out the burned brush. That's where the volunteers come in. We just couldn't do this. I mean, this literally could not do it without this kind of help. A professor at USF used to come to the ranch as a little girl and brought her MBA students up for retreats. Now she's helping teach a group of sophomore business students a different kind of lesson. I just couldn't imagine having to like completely restart like they, they have. And it's kind of inspiring to see them doing what they're doing. By coming here and seeing firsthand, it was very um, heartbreaking, but knowing that we're doing like just little things to help makes me feel a lot better. It's that kind of support that's helping the Fouts move forward. We're not going to give up on a 105-year tradition. Uh, we have to rebuild. And the Fouts hope to open the ranch to guests again by next summer. In Calistoga, Katie Nielsen, KPIX5.